Subaru's latest option package is a disruptive take on the rear seat entertainment system that has kept families sane and intact for years, the Subaru Starlink Entertainment Anywhere Kit. Subaru laughs in the face of your pitiful and head restraint screens or the one screen that folds down from the center of the headliner. Instead, they'll just sell you two 9.7-inch, 32GB iPads with Wi-Fi, along with OtterBox Defender cases for both and two pairs of Harman Kardon Bluetooth headphones. The all-new 2019 Subaru Ascent will be the first Subaru model to have an in-car Wi-Fi hotspot, but other 2019 models, including the Forester, will follow. All told, the kit will cost $970, which Subaru claims is a significant savings over buying each part separately. Kits will be shipped directly to customers' homes in custom eco-friendly packaging. Having two separate iPads should let passengers customize in-car entertainment, which is a plus. The $970 package is significantly less than the $1,750 for Rear Seat Entertainment Sans DVD player in a 2018 Chevrolet Traverse. One potential downside, in-car screens don't usually run out of battery power. If you've already purchased a Subaru, have no fear. The kit is available for ordering during or after the vehicle purchase process. The 2018 Nissan Kicks is coming to market with more than just contrasting roof options. It's also coming with Nissan's Color Studio line of parts. Basically, the company will sell a variety of interior and exterior parts in different colors to mix and match to your heart's content. It's very much like what the company offered with the predecessor to the Kicks, the Juke, and even the Versa Note for a time. On the Kicks, parts will be available in white, black, blue, red and orange. You can mix and match those colors to create something like what you see. Parts that can be swapped out on the outside include trim on the front and rear bumpers, side skirts, spoiler, door handles, mirror and trim on the hatch and doors. There are also black 17-inch wheels that can house colored inserts, but it's only available on SP and SR trim levels. Inside, parts include the mirror, vent rings, door sills and floor mats. Nissan will sell the parts individually for the owner to install, or they can be installed by the dealer. The company notes that the price of parts and installation can be incorporated into the price of the car and the payments. Prices for the parts can be found in Nissan's Kicks Color Studio Configuration Tool. There you can mix and match parts to see how they look, and learn how much all of your customizing will cost. Note that the price only shows the cost of the parts not the cost of labor if your dealer installs them. Globally, Subaru Corporation sells more Forester SUVs than any of their other all-wheel drive vehicles, but things are changing for the Japanese automaker. Consumers are responding to the all-new redesigned 2018 Crosstrek in a big way, especially in the US. Did you know, Subaru of America SOA, sold 143 more 2018 Foresters than all new 2018 Crosstreks in May? This was the smallest volume gap ever between the two nameplates. Crosstrek had its best May ever, with a sales increase of 74.4% over the same month in 2017 and it helped SOA mark the best month ever for the Subaru brand. Outback posted a nearly 10% increase, while WRXSTI posted 2.1% increase in May. SOA sold 14,387 Crosstreks last month compared with 8,250 units in May 2017. SOA sold 14,530 Foresters in the US last month. The all-new fifth-generation model isn't due out until this fall. 
In Canada, Cross Strek is also on fire. Leading the charge again for Subaru Canada Incorporated was the hot-selling Cross Strek, with the 1,532 units retailed in May a 94.9% increase over the same month last year, and an all-time best for the compact crossover. Cross Strek beat both Forester and Outback in sales up north of the border making it even more impressive. Consumers like the Cross Strek's new redesign as it now rides on the new Subaru Global platform giving it more room inside, an improved ride, more horsepower and an improved fuel efficiency. The new crossover is now equipped with X-Mode for enhanced drivability on poor road surfaces and gains real off-road capability for urban adventurers who will use the small crossover to get away from civilization. This will make the 2018 Cross Strek a true off-roader and more than a compact commuter. Nissan is boasting about the high demand for the new Leaf again as it says it has received 37,000 orders in Europe, but it looks like production is still not keeping up with demand. The company delivered over 12,000 new Leafs in 2018 in Europe, which was enough to bring the total number of Leafs to 100,000 units in Europe. Susana Tamina of Madrid was the 100,000th Leaf buyer in Europe. She said, I've spent two years trying to find an electric car. I knew it would be a Nissan. When I saw there was a brand new model of the Leaf, there were no doubts in my mind it would be the perfect fit. My husband and I agreed that the quality, price and specification made it second to none. We are very conscious that we must respect and protect the environment, so we knew we'd want to go 100% electric. On top of this, an electric car lets us get to the very center of Madrid when ordinary vehicles can sometimes be restricted due to pollution issues. The milestone in Europe comes just over a month after they reach the same number in Japan. The Japanese automaker is now claiming to have 37,000 new Leaf orders in Europe since the launch eight months ago, which is one new Nissan Leaf every 10 minutes in Europe. Deliveries haven't caught up to the orders yet with less than 10,000 units shipped during the first quarter 2018. A similar situation is happening in the US where sales have come back to about 1,500 units per month, which is higher than in the last few years but it is also far from the Leafs' peak sales in the country. Subaru of America announced their new Subaru Starlink Entertainment Anywhere kit that will save customers money on their infotainment system. The new 2019 Subaru Ascent will be the first Subaru to offer the in-vehicle WIFI hotspot. What does it mean for Subaru customers? The new Starlink Entertainment Anywhere kit includes two 9.7-inch iPad 32GB Wi-Fi models, two Harman Kardon Bluetooth headphones, and two OtterBox Defender Series iPad cases all for $970. This is cheaper than purchasing a dual headrest DVD entertainment system. It's also cheaper than buying the items separately. The kit's MSRP of $970 offers about $368 in savings by purchasing through Subaru versus paying retail for each component separately. There is a catch. The kit is only available either during or after the purchase or lease of a new Subaru. So, you can't go in and buy the kit for your older Subaru vehicle. The other catch is you will need to buy a new 2019 Subaru model to get it. The new Starlink Entertainment Anywhere kit is available to all Subaru customers, with the all-new 2019 Ascent SUV, being the first Subaru model to offer an in-vehicle WIFI hotspot. Additional 2019 Subaru models will be WIFI capable including the all-new 2019 Forester. The new kits will give families the ability to stay connected, engaged, and entertained while on the road. 
Subaru says, the OtterBox Defender Series iPad cases are designed for easy grip and durable protection, while Harman Kardon Bluetooth headphones deliver premium audio experience. The only thing better, would be the ability to attach them to the back of the seat. Customers will be able to order the Starlink Entertainment Anywhere kit through their Subaru dealer, and it will be delivered to your home. The all-new 2019 Subaru Ascent will be first to get in vehicle WIFI hotspot and other 2019 vehicles will also be WIFI capable.